The Startup Retro is a new podcast from the team behind Overnight Success. A weekly show where we help you level up on the Australian startup ecosystem by giving you an insider's view on Aussie startups and venture capital. I'm Will Richards. And I'm Gemma Clancy. At OS, we curate the most important news and announcements across the ecosystem and explain a bit of useful context behind them. The Startup Retro podcast will follow a format familiar to our readers of the weekly newsletter, but offer an opportunity for much more discussion. So if you want to keep your finger on the pulse of all things happening, Aussie startups and venture capital, start your week by listening to the Startup Retro. New episodes every Monday, starting the 1st of July. The Startup Retro is brought to you by Day One, the podcast network for founders, operators, and investors. Hi, it's Chris Titley here. As part of the FinTech Fun podcast series, I'm joined by Pascal Helia Murray. Have I done that well, Pascal? Perfect. (laughs) I'm from founder and CEO of Super Rewards. Um, Now, let's talk about Super Rewards, the origin of the business, Pascal, and how it began and a little bit about the business. Absolutely. Um, so Super Awards came essentially from a pain point, like so many businesses do. Um, and my particular pain point was that um, despite having a very uh, a sizable balance of superannuation myself, and having good financial knowledge, thanks to working in financial services for uh, a couple of decades, um, I discovered through my gender equality work, um, where I was director of communications on the Australian Gender Equality Council, that my position was rather unique. So having, being aware of super and having a a good um, super balance was actually, I was very much not the norm. And then I started uh, looking into this a little bit more and I realized that in Australia, we have the gender super gap, which is where women retire with roughly um, six months, uh, sorry, six years of uh, retirement funds, but live another 14 years after that. Mm. And I also discovered that um, this had been a, you know, a pressing issue in inverted commas for government for all 20 plus years, but clearly nothing was being done about it because um, when I started Super Awards, as it is now, the older woman is the fastest growing demographic of homeless people in Australia. Right. And a whopping one in six women retires into poverty. So I thought, well, this is a little bit nuts. Yep. We've got 51% of the population kind of at, at some level of risk here. Government's doing nothing, corporates are doing nothing, yet women are receiving this message of, hey, women, just add to your super mm. and it'll all be fine. And and I thought, well, you know, h- how can this be the case? Women, 40% of women in uh, the accumulation phase of their lives, age, age 18 to 64, they're not working. They're not in the, sorry, they're not in the paid workforce. Yeah. How can they be topping up their super? So I thought, look, there has to be an easier way to do this. Um, and I drew on my knowledge of uh, e-commerce and startup and uh, affiliate marketing. And so what Super Awards is, is um, a way where you are rewarded or paid into superannuation, any superannuation account in Australia, just by doing the things that you do every day. Amazing. Like buying pet food. It might be buying the groceries. It might be booking the next holiday. It might be whatever. So the vision is really that no matter what you do, uh, online or in store now, and so I'm sure we'll talk about that, um, that you are rewarded into your super for doing so. Excellent. And and we did catch up in August, I just checked, um, uh, about the, the, the business in its own right, and you did mention what you just also mentioned about the in-store. But let's talk about the last, um, in top of my head, seven or eight months since we yes. have caught up in terms of the progress, firstly, from... Uh, a consumer point of view, and secondly, from a from a retailer point of view, how that's ticking along. Yeah, sure. So, from a, a consumer point of view, we have broadened our um, in-store reach. So, we now have um, over four hundred retailers representing over a thousand physical stores nationally, where you can earn super awards. So, this is as simple as linking your card um, or your existing credit or debit cards on the Super Rewards site. We don't hold the data. It's, it's okay. It's tokenized, <laughs> just for those who might be worried. Um, and then when you go into your, your dry cleaner or your 
your participating dry cleaner or your, the local cafe that's part of the program or you know you, you've got a you know a, a night out with the family at the local restaurant all you need to do is pay for that dry cleaning or um, food as you would normally and voila your super awards appear in your super awards account so it really it could not be simpler it's absolutely frictionless so what we're doing every month is we're growing uh, increasingly the the net the number of participating retailers. Um, secondly, uh, we have just launched our app, which is thrilling, absolutely mm. thrilling, and it's stage one of our app. We've got stage two underway uh, currently, but um, it's for me personally, it's such a, a pleasing milestone because um, you know apps are where it's at. We all, I think we know feel yep. by that. And this has personally been something that I want to see come to fruition for, you know, a couple of years now. So to actually be there in market and be able to say with confidence, you know, hand on heart, look, you know, we have um, an awesome Super Awards app is in- incredibly satisfying for me. Well, congratulations on that. I, I do feel that there's a coming through, there's a sense of pride, but there's also a sense of excitement around the, the the product and the ease to do things I'd imagine you know with the app you can sort of find out different retailers you can potentially see that you've got some you know some savings on how much you've used it etc and frequency um, getting this name out there to say hey you should sign up and link your super account firstly link your your debit or, or credit card or whatever that needs to be linked to do that how have you found you know the feedback from your initial customers and then that virality of word of mouth yeah, it's, I mean, it's a great point. So uh, up until today, we've historically, from a marketing perspective, we've just, uh, we've focused on partnerships with the super funds or other like wealth or, you know, fintech um, platforms um, for the reason that as soon as we launched Super Awards, you know, a few years ago, users came back with two questions. Number one, when are you going to be in store? And number two, when are you going to have an app? So, <laughs> and in those six or seven months and since we've chatted, you've like tick tick. <laughs> yeah, so now it's tick tick on the yeah, yeah. And, and what what would be the next question? I'd imagine, yeah. like, <laughs> yeah, uh, there's always something, right? But in, in in my book, there was um there was little point marketing ourselves in a wholesale way to directly to consumers, um, without what I would call a fully formed product. And so, fully formed product in in my head comprises both online, in store web platform and and app so um we, we've been saving our, our powder for, on this one until we did have that that full product um before we we're ready to market what i will say though is um without giving too much of the game away um that we are working on a product extension right. which um is best described thusly <laughs> i can't i can't say too much detail but I can tell you that um, marketing super and promoting super is about as exciting as promoting a dead fish, <laughs> right? To, to, to the end. We user. might use that as the quote of the podcast. I, I, absolutely, <laughs> think I absolutely think you should. Um, and even though you know it's so good for us, and we all know we should do it, you know there are so many blockers around super, right? Yep. Really. Um, and I mean, the fact that I look at my my Super Awards dashboard and present day value of um, my cash pack is, let's say, $1,500, but that translates into $15,000, right, yep. by the time I hit retirement, that's, it. people don't get excited about that. And it seems so far away. And- Probably because, it, uh, yes, so far away. And secondly, the thought of, you know, $15,000 when you retire in the future, might buy you a loaf of bread. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What, what does that translate to? Like how, will that be a loaf of bread or is that, you know, half a year of living? Who knows, yeah. right? So there's this intangibility to it. So um, our product extension um, is going to be with us in under a f- less than three months. I'm going to boldly say that. Brilliant. Um, nice. And um, what it will be is repurposing all our tech, repurposing all our, uh, you know, our proprietary payment system we've built, our, you know, our team, everything. So we're basically extracting 
a heck of a lot more value out of the business that we have built. But we're not going to be talking about dead fish. Right. We're going to be talking okay. about something super tasty, super, super, super tasty and <laughs> delicious. And that, barramundi. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that people are just going to get in a heartbeat. And awesome. it's not going to be that same kind of educational or positioning battle mm. that we sometimes find in, in the heads of the direct consumer yep. uh, that we sometimes find ourselves challenged by. Super exciting. Well, let's lock it in the uh, the product launch in three months' time or whenever the, the product Great. is launched and we can um, <laughs> talk about it till our heart's content um, <laughs> using fish analogies. But um, <laughs> in, in the meantime, in regards to, I mean, obviously you've got the product side of things which you're working really hard and have worked really hard in developing um, and, and then you've got probably the retailer side. I mean, how, how are the retailers, how are the, the, the shops, the, ra- the restaurants that you mentioned being aware of you and then sort of saying, yeah, it's easy to, you know, can we join? Yes. Um, we've, we've had um, salespeople, um, you know, drumming a business. We've got a dedicated business and uh, page on our site now where merchants can reach out and, and contact us. Uh, we, we've also started to develop much um, better relationships and a, a more consistent dialogue with um, retailers. We, we've just started a, a retailer newsletter, for example, where we talk about you know coming opportunities and, and so on. So um, all of these things combined mean that we are seeing our in-store retailer growth of anywhere, you know, let's say up to 30 new retailers per month which is really good. Wow. I mean, of course, there, it, it's always a, there's always some flux. You know, you have retail that's rolling off and yes, more retail so churn on. and et cetera. Yep, yep. Yeah, a bit of churn. Um, but uh, it's on the whole, it's it's going well. Awesome. Brilliant. Love it. So then when they sign on, then they can also be a, a channel, I'd imagine, for you um, moving forward and also a channel hopefully probably in that new product that you're talking about because you're sort of mimicking the systems and the processes, et cetera. Absolutely. Um, how have you gone about? I mean, there was one of the the IP that which I found fascinating last time we chatted was about the linkage of every super fund in Australia, broadly speaking. How have you found that continuing and, and any sort of kinks in the armour, or is this still a you know a really important part of the business? The, no, no kinks, which is which is great. Um, and we're just closing out on a piece of development work to make it fully fully automated, which we're going to need, we're going to have to do anyway, in order for the product extension to be just absolutely slick. Um, so we're, th- there haven't been any issues awesome. um, with that, but there has been a, a small, uh, a, a, kind of a user facing uh, imp- uh, improvement. You can always uh, improve, obviously, by the way, the tangibility of improvement is, is subjective to the oh, beholder. Yes. <laughs> Yes, well, it's it's not. I'm not sure if the user would necessarily appreciate it, but I'll tell you about it anyway. So basically, um, you know, when when people sign up to Super Wars and they they do their first uh, shop because they the shop is through the act of shopping that they earn Super and 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 so on. Um, we after someone has done their first shop, we ask them for their Super Fund details, right? So we we link to any. Um, super fund or sorry we pay into any super fund or smsf in australia now um every so often what happens is somebody shops or uh, does a few shops but they never provide us their super account details mm. we make a number of efforts you know emails sms etc to um platform pop-ups to get this information out of them if they don't for whatever reason And um, then what we do um, is we now donate um, those unclaimed rewards. So after a period of time, it's 12 months, if we have not been able to reunite the member with their uh, unclaimed rewards, then we donate um, a portion of those unclaimed rewards to the women's community shelters. Excellent. That's a very very novel approach to to that in a problem which you probably thought, oh, I'm not too sure what to do. So... Um, congratulations right. on, on, well, on that. With the mission and it fits very well with the mission and, um, you know, the Women's Community Shelters is always very grateful for, you know, whatever donation they can receive. Mm. So if, if we're doing our jobs, you know, really, really well, there won't be any money to donate to them. But, um, of course, you know, there's there's always going to be some unclaimed monies. For sure, for sure. Now, when you're not thinking about linking every superannuation fund in Australia to your platform, all the retailers that are signing up on a day-to-day basis, all the consumer feedback that you're getting 
on a day-to-day -day basis and the, the positives and the negatives, the negatives as well as the uh, user interface experiences. What do you do in your downtime, Pascal, to kind of counteract this? Do you, um, is there a secret uh, hobby that uh, people should know about or, 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 or a secret sort of retreat that you like to go to when, you, uh, when, when, you, when you're not thinking about super awards? Wow, um, what a question. Um, it's a bit long-winded. I, I like the odd long-winded <laughs> question, by the way. Oh, um, I, I like to get to the gym. Yep. Um, I love retail therapy. It's called retail therapy for a reason. Yes. For me. Yep. yep. Um, I particular like area of, um, of of where you're around that you go to quite often in terms fashion, of retail therapy. Fashion, fashion, darling. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about the uh, the fashion. I mean, but you know what? I'm earning. Huh? I'm earning super as I as I show. Oh, there you go. You, you, that's right. You're feeding the machine. <laughs> yeah. Um, and um, you know, lunches with yep. friends. And yep. Gastronomic. Experience. It's all good for mental health. It's all, you're catching up with people and enjoying um, a, a meal. I think it's critically important in this day and age to do that in a face to face level, as opposed to living your life vicariously through um, video streaming meetings. Exactly. Exactly. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for giving us an update on Super Rewards. It's been, as I said, about nine or six to nine months since we've caught up, and the progress that you've um, seen since then has been been incredibly uh, pro progressive and, and well done on releasing the app and the tick ticks that we talked about in terms of um, uh, the, the 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 user um, wanting particular elements from your business, and then moving forward very excitingly in the next three months or so, the release of. Um, iteration number two or whatever that may look like in terms of super yeah. rewards. Really look forward to catching up in person at some point in time uh, in the near future. And um, yeah, once again, congratulations on the progress. Thank you, Chris. Thanks for having me. The Startup Retro is a new podcast from the team behind Overnight Success. A weekly show where we help you level up on the Australian startup ecosystem by giving you an insider's view on Aussie startups and venture capital. I'm Will Richards. And I'm Gemma Clancy. At OS, we curate the most important news and announcements across the ecosystem and explain a bit of useful context behind them. The Startup Retro podcast will follow a format familiar to our readers of the weekly newsletter, but offer an opportunity for much more discussion. So if you want to keep your finger on the pulse of all things happening, Aussie startups and venture capital, start your week by listening to the Startup Retro. New episodes every Monday, starting the 1st of July. The Startup Retro is brought to you by Day One, the podcast network for founders, operators, and investors. <laughs>